It's already Thursday and we're back for another Throwback Thursday edition of the VTV Show. More blasts from the past photos and a look at the Steppers team and much, much more. And it all starts right after this. What's the word, HF? I'm Tori Wright, your host for this week. This week is going by fast, isn't it? And it all leads down to the big day of love tomorrow. We'll have a special Valentine's Day show tomorrow, so make sure you tune in. Let's get to that blast from the past photo. How have you been doing on this game? Well, here's a tough one for you. We're going baby photo on this one. But if you see that you can figure out this male teacher at HF, I know it's gonna be tough, but we'll have the answer at the end of the show. Right now, however, we turn to Amber Bertoletti for HF News. Good morning, HF. I'm Amber Bertoletti, and I have your HF news. Love is in the air. The freshman class will be selling Valentine's grants today during all lunches for $1. Send your special someone, your BFF, or your crush a Valentine's Day grant. All grants will be delivered on Friday, Valentine's Day. We're asking everyone to wear red tomorrow to commemorate Henrietta Lacks Day. We are less than two weeks away from turnabout. Make sure you get your tickets in the campus store for $25. On February 18th, the League of Women Voters at the, of the HF area will be on campus in both buildings during all school lunches to register eligible students to vote. You will need two forms of ID to register to vote. Attention all Key Club members and future officer candidates. Key Club is holding our officer nomination meeting on Tuesday, February 18th after school. For anyone who is interested in being a Key Club officer for the 2020 through 2021 school year, you must be present in E1 in order to place your name on the ballot. Our voting for the officer elections will be the following Tuesday, February 25th in room E1. You must be at the meeting to vote. We are hoping that you come out to sign up to run in for an officer candidate position. Reminders, this Saturday, February 15th from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. is the Sweetheart Daddy Daughter Dance. For those who volunteered, please see Ms. Kloop for any details on this awesome volunteer opportunity. Attention all French club members, we will meet on Tuesday, February 18th after school in the room 225N. We will be celebrating Mardi Gras. Model UN is passing out flyers for a fundraiser. The Chipotle at Halsted Street in Homewood on Wednesday, February 19th from 4pm to 8pm. Showing the flyer or a picture on your smartphone will support the cause and 33% of the proceeds will be donated to the HF Models UN. Online orders will not be included, so order and pay in the store. Attention juniors, if you want help prepping for SAT math questions, please join the SAT. The SAT is coming Google Classroom. The code on the screen, the code is on the screen here. Each week, a new SAT math question containing three practice SAT math questions. If you answer, all three questions correctly, you are put in a raffle to win a certificate to the campus door. The SAT is coming up on April 14th for juniors, but it's never too late to start practicing. So take advantage of the SAT math questions of this week. That's what's happening here at HF. I'm Amber Bertoletti. Hey sports fans, it's Eric Steiner here in the HF Sports Corner, bringing you up to date on all the scores and announcements in Viking sports. Reminder to volleyball players that open gym resumes today after school in the field house. Fan buses for the girls basketball regionals and sectionals are ready to be filled. You can be a part of the action by signing up in the campus store and a, for a ride and ticket to the girls postseason tournament. There will be th no Thursday night open water polo this week. That's all I have today. Until next time, I'm Eric Steiner. Joining me today is the junior heavyweight wrestler, Brian Smith. This past weekend, Brian won the Lockport 3A Regional in his weight class by defeating the number one ranked wrestler in the state of Illinois. Brian, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. So not only did you beat this number one wrestler, but you pinned him. Tell me, what was that like for you? It felt really good. Uh, I came in as a secondary, and when the starter got hurt, I had to come in, and I did pretty well this season. With the, with the win, you were named the one the FCA Wrestler of the Week. That had been quite an honor. Yes, it was. And I had a lot of help, and I'm thankful for all the people that helped me this year. So by winning the regional, that means you advance to the next round at sectional. 
How do you feel about your chances at state? I feel really good about my chances. And there's a lot of ranked people, but I know I can beat them. You're not the only one who did well at regional. Who else is advancing with you? My teammates Stacy Terry, Justin Thomas, Haku Watson, and Zamir McGee. It sounds like you had a great season. What was the year like for you? It's been good and it's been a little bad. I, and I, I have a record right now of 20 and nine and I hope to make it better this year. He's Brian Smith, the big winner of the Lockport Regional. We can't wait to hear how you and the other guys do. So best of luck and thanks so much for coming in today. For VTV, I'm Jackie Urbanic. Sports team have been having a lot of success this winter season, and adding to that success is our step team. And what's neat about this team is that they do lots of community work on top of all that stepping. I got to follow the team to a recent event, and here's the story. Last Thursday during sixth period, the HL Steppers took a trip to Speed's Early Learning Center Academy for kids with special needs to perform for their annual Black History Month assembly. We spoke to the assistant principal, Kelly Clark, about how the act of service from the Steppers is always welcome. Uh, the performance I expect is going to be great um, from past performances. Uh, it's been an exciting time for the kids and I'm expecting the same type of activities for the kids. As you're performing, you're going to see the students starting to do some of the dances with you and or clapping their hands. So it's a nice interactive type thing for them. The team was greeted with the room to practice and lunch as well. The assistant principal told us about why the team performing at the assembly is so important to the kids and faculty. Uh, this is Black History Month, so we have a Black History Committee that worked in bringing programs uh, in with different types of Black History type activities. Uh, you being the steppers, that was important to uh, present to the students. The Steppers did so well, and the kids and faculty loved the performance from the team. For VTV, I'm Reagan Lighton. It was a lot of fun watching the Steppers interact with the kids, and we thank them for letting us tag along to their story. Continue our look into Black History Month. Here's Reagan with some facts you probably didn't know. In Black History, there have been a lot of inventions that I bet you didn't know were invented by African Americans. Take, for instance, the automatic gear shift, invented by Richard Spikes in 1932. You can thank him for not having to shift gears in your car. Or how about Alexander Miles, who missed the automatic opening elevator door? Seen that good year blip flying above the sporting events? Yeah, invented by John Pickering. You wash your clothes? Now what? How about throwing the clothes in the dryer? All thanks to inventor George T. Sampson. Are you a golfer? You wouldn't be able to tee up your first shot without the inventor George Grant. And finally, thanks to Thomas Elkins. Wow with him, his inventions of the modern toilet well, we can only imagine. There's so many more adventures in Black History. Just Google it and help give some credit to where credit is due. I'm Reagan Lighting. Back to you, Tori. Thanks, Reagan. That was really cool. Okay, it's time to look at our Blast from the Past photo. Take another look at this adorable baby. And here's a look at who the baby turned into. It's Mr. Brown. Thanks so much for sending in your photo. And if you're a teacher who has a funny photo of your younger years, make sure that you send it to Mr. Szyzelski. That's going to do it for our show today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for our special Valentine's Day show. It's, it's our show filled with love and you won't want to miss it. Until then, everyone here at VTV, I'm Soy Wright. Have a great day.